If you don't have a stud finder or you don't want to put holes in your walls with one of these little gizmos, get yourself some really strong rare earth magnets and search for the drywall screws that were used to attach the drywall to the studs. Then line up your magnets and what you'll find is you have a nice line that indicates where the stud is behind the wall. Easy peasy. Don't you hate it when a board is a hair too long? Utilize the flexibility of your chop saw blade by pushing the board up against it until it flexes slightly, then lifting it up again and dropping it down on the wood. You'll find that you'll be able to take just a hair off the end that'll make everything line up perfectly. You don't need an expensive laser level to make sure that your shelves are parallel to the floor. Just get a metal ruler and a magnetic bubble level. Attach the level so it's parallel to the edge of the ruler and put your lines. Nothing will roll off your shelves now. Sometimes in woodworking you want to make curves that aren't necessarily symmetrical. I mean, let's face it, it's not too professional to have your shelves end in just semicircles or have the corners of a headboard be too perfect. So what I like to do is take a ruler and make interval marks on two adjacent sides. Here I'm using 10 millimeter intervals. Then you use the ruler and you connect the lines and you'll get a nice sweeping curve that is not symmetrical. Voila! You can continue to do this on the opposite side to make the same marks and then connect the lines again and you'll end up with a very very nice chapel shape which will look good when you cut it out. When you're drilling holes freehand with a bit and brace or a power drill it's really hard to get those holes perfectly perpendicular. What I like to do is draw a line on the adjacent face of the side where I'll be putting the hole in and then put the block of wood in the vise so that that line is parallel to the bench. Set up a mirror so that you can see the line from where you'll be drilling. You can look down at the drill to adjust horizontally and look in the mirror to adjust vertically and you'll get your perpendicular hole. When installing inserts, insert a bolt and wing nut into the insert. Then after you've screwed the insert into the wood, just release the tension on the wing nut and take everything out and you'll have your insert in there perfect. Cutting dovetails by hand can be very tedious, so I like to tape all the boards together and cut all the tails at once. This saves a lot of time. If you're out of metal polish, toothpaste can be used to restore shine to lots of different types of metals. And it smells good when you're done. Thanks for watching.